Now we have two similar triangles and we need to find X which is one of the sides of one of the triangles. So they'll show you two triangles and they will have three numbers on one of the triangles which is the hypotenuse length and the width and on the other triangle there will be an X which means that's what you have to find and then two other numbers. So here we have hypotenuse length and width on the first triangle then we have an X for the hypotenuse, but we have the length and the width. So we're going to use cross multiplying to find the X, and that's the question, what is the X? So we use two sides of both triangles. So we'll use the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is where the X is on the second triangle. So we have a five for that hypotenuse, and then I'm gonna use the length for the bottom of the fraction equals x over 8. And now this is where you cross multiply. So now you do 5 times 8, which is 40, is equal to 4x. And so you're going to divide both sides by 4 to get x by itself. And 40 divided by 4 is 10, so 10 equals x, and that would be the number you put here. So you need to see this triangle, and when you f have all this information but you don't have one side of it, you're going to have to know to use cross multiplying because you can. that's how you set it up. So you have a hypotenuse over a length is equal to this hypotenuse over that length. And don't get it confused with the width. Don't use this hypotenuse with this width and then this hypotenuse with this length because it'll be wrong. Whatever side you use on top needs to be the same side that's used on the other fraction. So we have hypotenuse, hypotenuse, length, length. Okay? And then that way you'll make sure you get the right answer. A lot of times people get that messed up. So just to make sure, you can even write the letters. Like, okay, there's the hypotenuse, there's the hypotenuse, here's the length, here's the length. And that way you'll get the correct X.